Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get approved for an SBA loan. We're also going to talk about the different types of SBA loans that you can get. Also, these loans go up to five million. So if you're looking for information on how to get approved for an SBA loan and the different types of loans, you definitely want to watch this entire video. Okay, so what does the SBA do? The Small Business Administration does not actually loan money. Instead, they set loan guidelines. Because the SBA guarantees these loans, the rates are more favorable, terms are more flexible. But the SBA says real estate investing, for example, is too high risk for them. The Small Business Administration can help all types of businesses get loans, but not every company can qualify for an SBA loan. For those that are able to, the SBA can come to the rescue and get you funding if you need it. They have various cap line loan programs and SBA express programs. The SBA's lending partners actually make the loans. The SBA also offers research grants if your company engages in scientific research and development. So the scores that the SBA wants your company to have. Pay very close attention to this because this is very important. There are a lot of people out here who don't think business credit is necessary. But if you're looking to get a SBA loan, you might want to consider building up your business credit. The SBA uses FICO SBSS, which is the small business scoring service. Scores reflect likelihood of an applicant paying their bills timely, just like with personal credit there are business credit scores and business credit is important scores range from 0 to 300 higher scores mean lower risk the higher score you have the better personal and business credit history plus financial data go into total score calculation for SBA loans you will not be approved with a score under 140 however they typically set a minimum score threshold as low as D. An SBA lender won't even submit your application to the SBA if your score doesn't meet the minimum requirement. So for SBA loans, you sh usually need to show some time in business. You can get up to 5 million. Rates are usually to 4% above prime rate. This is very important. So all owners with more than 20% ownership must provide a personal guarantee. So you will need Again, business credit and personal credit to get approved for these SBA loans, especially the 7A good consumer credit is required. You must demonstrate a need for funds and have a sound business purpose in mind. Your business must meet the SBA's size standards and be considered small within your particular industry. You have to operate for profit and must have a reasonable equity to invest. A company must do or propose to do business in the United States or its possessions. Plus, the company must have tried to use other financial resources. These include personal assets, aka bootstrapping, before applying. A 7A program allows for loan amounts up to $5 million. You can also fund startups, buy equipment, etc. The company can also buy new land. This includes construction costs, repair existing capital, buy or expand an existing business, refinance existing debt, buy machinery, fixtures, furniture, supplies, or materials. So the benefits of a SBA 7A loan, you get flexibility, long terms, and potentially lower down payments versus other financial options. Plus there are specialized programs for entrepreneurs interested in exporting, located in underserved communities, also who are members of the military. Okay, so 7A repayment terms. So most 7A SBA loans are paid monthly. As far as the repayment terms, they're monthly payment of principal and interest. For fixed rate loans, the payments stay the same since the interest rate is consistent. For variable rate loans, a lender can require a different size payment amount when the interest rate changes. Okay, so now let's talk about SBA cap lines. According to the SBA, cap line is the umbrella program which 
the SBA helps business owners meet short-term and cyclical working capital needs. Loan amounts go up to $5 million. Loan qualification requirements are the same as with other SBA programs. You can get a loan or a revolving line of credit. They have seasonal lines, which advances against anticipated inventory and accounts receivables meant to help seasonal businesses. They also have contract lines. These are finances directed towards labor and material costs associated with performing assignable contract. A builder's line is meant for a general contractor or builders contracting or renovating commercial or residential building. It helps to finance direct labor and material costs where the building project serves as collateral. Standard asset-based lines are for businesses unable to meet credit standards associated with long-term credit. Repayment is from converting short-term assets into cash. Small asset-based lines of credit, asset-based revolving line of credit can go up to 200,000 operate like standard asset-based line of credit except some of the stricter servicing requirements are waived if the business can consistently show repayment ability from cash flow for the full amount. So now let's talk about SBA Express. SBA Express offers access to a credit line for well-qualified borrowers. Approvals go up to 350000 Interest rates vary. SBA lets banks charge as much as 6.5% over their base rate. Loans over 25000 require collateral. For approval, you need a balance sheet as well as an income statement, accounts receivables, collateral, articles of incorporation, business licenses, contracts with third parties, and a lease. Okay, so SBA, this is the SBA's second most popular loan type. Often used to buy land, equipment, the bank funds, the loans up to 40% is guaranteed by the SBA. You can usually get up to a million dollars. Typically, you can contribute 10% of the equity. You must operate your business for profit with a feasible business plan and relevant management expertise. A company must do business in the United States or its territory. The company must have tried to use other finance. This includes personal assets, again, AKA bootstrapping before applying for a loan. Your business must have a tangible net worth of under 50. Your business must have an average net income of less than 5 million after taxes for the last two years. A business must be reliable to pay the loan on time from its projected operating cash flow. Maximum loan amounts are determined by usage for land and buildings. The loan terms is 20 years. It's a 10-year term for machinery and equipment. Now, moving on to SBA's microloan. So the SBA microloan program provides short-term loans up to 50000 to help businesses start and expand. The average microloan is $13,000. The SBA makes funds available through special designated intermediary Lenders. These are nonprofit community based organizations with experience in lending management and technical assistance. The intermediaries make loans to eligible borrowers. Micro loans have to be repaid in six years and can be used for working capital, buying inventory and supplies, purchasing furniture and fixtures, buying machinery or equipment. So if you want more training like this on how to get funding for your business, using business credit, click the link in the description is going to be the first link. Register for the free training. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell icon to receive notifications on when I release new videos.